All right, so we've put holes in the wall, L brackets into the, the wall plugs, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them. The records are now up. I'll show you a photo of that next time I go in, or a video of that next time I go in. Now I am cutting the pine to fit in between the architrave and the corner and cutting out holes for the fan and the light switch to, well, the fan actually, the fan controller to poke through. Um, so I just gotta use this very sharp pencil to make some markings to cut the pine with this, the Ryobi one plus 18 volt circular saw R18CS. Ryobi 18 circular saw. Damn it, I was trying to make it funny, it didn't work. R18 circumference surveyor. Nailed it. How do I turn it off? <laughs> I don't know how to stop the video. <laughs> Before we get started, safety first. Noise cancelling headphones. Let's turn them on. Now I can't hear anything. So there, oh, I'd have to shout. <laughs> this is the circular saw. Well, yeah, be 18 circumvation survey model number and then put the battery in here, give it a test burl while the dog's around. He knows no fear. That's working, let's go. Did you see the way all of the, the sawdust went out? Because they included that in the purchase of this. Ah, the only thing is, it didn't fit really well, so I bodged it with a bit of electrical tape around the, around the outside, as you can see, <coughs> to make it fatter, like him. Fat dog. I love him, but I hate him, you know? So, put that in there, squeeze it out the side, and then it just kind of goes around my delicate jeans without disturbing them. It's uh, <coughs> a bit windy out here. I'm gonna have to redirect it, I think. Jeans are getting a little bit sawdusty as you are as well. Sorry about that. <coughs> okay. I just get worried about overheating it, but no overheating at all. The blade's even cool. How about that? The only thing I do wish that this had was uh, a locking um, trigger so that you could just lock it in and then, you know, not have to have your trigger on there, your finger on the trigger. Your finger on the trigger, that's what I'm trying to say. But it, maybe it's a safety feature, I don't know. Um, yeah, otherwise, I love the color. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, that's done. Now I'm gonna uh, measure it up, make sure that um, it's all correct to fit in. And then, uh, measure up where to cut that hole out for the fan. I'll show you what I mean. So that's what we're after there. It just fits in nicely. That's awesome, Alfie, look at that. Oh. <laughs> One last thing, this is really uh, handy. I bought this tool for a different reason, but this is the Ryobi OnePlus 80 dB. I don't know what the LWA stands for. 94 dB. So 80, 110 is like a rock concert, like super loud. Or the dog, for example, 110. Uh, 30 is like ambient noise, like in a day like today, a bit windy maybe with the wind there. I'm gonna blow him away. Um, and uh, so this is in between rock concert and ambient, so it's gonna be kind of loud. 
swell on here after that cut 100% charge still I think you can see it 100% charge it didn't use any energy well come here Alfie gotcha. Dust off me as well. Very handy. Doug! Doug! That's a good feature. Now, to measure. Let's go measure. Ooh, dusty. So there it is. That's the four-fifths complete uh, scattered bookshelf so there's a thing at the top there's a little rail along here um, yeah and, and boxes and things and places where you can put things I've got an anchor point at the top right an anchor point at the top left and an anchor point down the bottom in there and then it's kind of wedged in between the architrave here and the wall so it won't come forward from that side at all uh yeah i like it it took a long time to make so far i've still got one more a couple more pieces to go in this section here this is going to be left pretty much as it is because clothes will hang off that and f down here flat against the wall uh yeah not bad these bits here i, I had to add that those two brackets in there to give it a bit of strength because that was going to be the weak point there so i've got brackets hidden in the back and the below and these two brackets here to uh, support the weight that's going to be on there should be fairly strong yep feels pretty strong so Ryobi additional tool here to add to the collection this is the uh, Ryobi 18 volt one plus cordless LED torch unboxing and opening let's have a look at this so uh, it works with all 18 volt one plus batteries let's look at this little piece of equipment how do we open it looks like we've got a lot of glue over this side oh yeah here we go there's the there's the always a compelling read LED torch warnings it's the usual diagrams with little little words hardly any words at all up oh, it rotates the head rotates there's an on-off switch that's it plastic bag oh it's very ergonomic space age looking so apparently that twist yeah, twists okay so it's uh, it does that it doesn't click in mm, I'm gonna break it so it doesn't stay completely straight it doesn't go straight up it goes kind of has a center click one off switch there Let's get a battery in there and have a look, see what it looks like. All right, let's try it with the, I've got the 2.5 and the four, oh, the four amp hour batteries. Okay, so it goes on reverse. So it's got a lanyard hook here. If you want to put a rope in it, another kind of hooking place here to put another rope if you want. Oh, how bright is that? Is that too bright for you? Whoa, gosh, too bright for me. Far out. Okay, so that's um, looks pretty good. So you can actually hang, angle it up or down. Not bad. Let's see if it's any brighter. Shouldn't be any brighter, but you never know. So it's going handling a little bit. Does that look brighter to you? That looks brighter to me. It shouldn't be because it's um using the same 18 volts Let's have a look. it must be psychological that appears slightly brighter with the bigger battery they're both fully charged see 
that one, and that one, fully charged. Interesting. I'll put it down to psychology. It can't be any brighter. They're both 18 volts. This is broad daylight, and I can, it's shining, um, you know, pretty well. I'll do a nighttime view with uh, with this, and we'll show you what it looks like at nighttime. All right, here we are. It's nighttime, and I've got the light ready to test. Let's take it outside in the dark and see what it looks like. So here we are, pitch black, outside. R18T. Point it down this way. I left the bathroom light on, shouldn't have done that. Okay, so there is the backyard. And here's the light on. Ooh, providing a little bit of light there to the trees. So lights up sufficiently. Lights up very well actually. And nectarine plant. I'll point, I'll point up at the sky. You can see a bit of a light beam. Well, I can. I don't know if you can. It's a bit of a light beam going over there. Whoa, there's a tree. So, um, that's a pretty good job of lighting up. There's the shed. The whole thing's lit up. That's not bad. There is an adjustment on the light head. If I twist this up like that, it points roughly 80 degrees up. So I can put that on the ground and then it lights up the ceiling and reflects the light off the ceiling and then down. So you can get an idea. So it's not a bad idea in terms of putting it up against the side of a wall, reflecting the light that way or putting it in the middle of the room. Not so good. Maybe if I put it on its end like that, so it's kind of standing up on its end, pointing up and away there, kind of provides light in different situations. You can adjust this so that it goes to the side as well. So for a bit more stability. Something like that. Yeah, pretty versatile. Anyway, it's um, certainly powerful enough for my needs. And as I said earlier, there's a bit of a light beam you can see into the atmosphere. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I can see it. So it's um, pretty powerful. It's not bad, all in all. Good lighting, good spread, center beam as well. Certainly lights things up. Okay, here we go. All right, so it's light. It seems like it'll be, you know, fairly ergonomic. With the 2.5, with the four amp hour battery, it's about the same. It's does, it doesn't feel any less out of balance or more balanced. Not bad. $35 at, Bunning, at Bunnings. I can't speak today. $35 at Bunnings. It's an LED light. Uh, I don't think it's weather sealed. So I can see holes here which go directly down into the heat sink. So if that gets wet, I imagine it's not gonna work too much um, soon afterwards. Yeah, I don't think it's weather sealed surprised if it was which is a shame all right let's continue this tonight there's our test of the Ryobi um, R18T very comprehensive little code there uh, yeah I'm happy with that it's $35 it is expensive for a light but that seems really well made I think it'll last a long time and it's versatile in terms of where I can point the beam and it's a strong, powerful beam, so it has a center uh, beam and then a bit of a wider spread at the same time, so you get get a good wide angle. Looks to be around about maybe 90 degrees spread out um, with a center center focus. 
Not bad. Now, the build has been put on hold for a little while while I have dinner, go to sleep, get up in the morning and do some more, do more construction. I should have it finished tomorrow afternoon, so um, we'll do some more videoing of the tools that I used to get that going and what it looks like afterwards. Catch you then. Oh, and by the way, if you're liking this, then consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, well, you could give it a thumbs down. Either way, it doesn't really matter to me. But subscribing will help a lot. If you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. Thank you. See you soon.